Hello and welcome to Fortrade. Today we'll be explaining what the pivot points, support and resistance levels are and how they function. The pivot points, support and resistance levels are all part of technical analysis and the aim of technical analysis is to be able to identify patterns or trends so that we can estimate the potential future direction of the price of the instrument we are looking at. The most popular methods of visual technical analysis are horizontal lines, channels, Fibonacci retracement and moving averages, among others. These are used as part of technical analysis in order to determine support and resistance levels. To give you a practical example, you can now see a sample of one of our market opportunities. It's a one-page briefing containing technical and geopolitical analysis of one particular instrument, with the goal of providing clients an opportunity to trade in the markets. If you want to know more about market opportunities, we have a video describing them in greater detail. The instrument in this case is crude oil, but it could be a currency pair or gold, for example. A pivot point is a price level used by traders as an indicator of price movement. It is calculated as an average of previous prices of that instrument. The pivot point is the recommended price for opening a trading position. In our example, the pivot point is 57.55. This is a live weekly market opportunity, so the pivot point is based on a weekly period. You can see that the estimated trend direction is down. If the price goes above the pivot point, this indicates an uptrend, and if the price is below the pivot point, this suggests a downtrend. However, the idea is for a trader to wait until the price starts to move in either direction before taking a position. Below you can see a table with resistance and support levels. Theoretically, support and resistance levels are psychologically important levels where many traders tend to be willing to enter or exit a position. When these trend lines are broken, market psychology looks to move to next levels of support and resistance levels. I'll explain how this works in a moment. Just above the center of the page you can see the pivot point and the estimated price direction, which is down. Below you can see the pivot point resistance levels and underneath the support levels. To return to the pivot point, the idea is to enter a position once you see which direction the price is going. The support level refers to a level that tends to find support as it falls. This means the price is more likely to bounce off this level rather than break through it. However, once the price has gone past this level, it's likely to continue falling until meeting another support level. We suggest that you use the take profit or stop loss options at this level. The support line is the line on the lower part of the chart based on lower price levels. As far as the resistance level is concerned, this is the opposite of a support level. It is where price tends to find resistance as it rises. This means the price is more likely to bounce off this level rather than break through it. But once the price has breached this level, it will tend to continue rising until meeting another resistance level. We suggest that you use the take profit or stop loss options at this level. The resistance line is a line on the upper part of the price range. Now let's go over to the MetaTrader 4 trading platform so I can show you what the pivot point and resistance levels look like in a real life trading environment. If you remember, our market analysis shows that our research department estimates it's likely that the trend for crude oil will be downward on a weekly basis. At the time of recording, it's Wednesday, so it's uncertain whether this will be a successful market opportunity or not, since there are still two and a half trading days left in the week. Please note that since our research department takes multiple factors into account to calculate the pivot point, resistance and support levels may be slightly different from the lines you can see here, which are based on Trading Central's calculations. Our resistance and support levels are represented by horizontal lines. As you can see here, the pivot point is in the middle, while resistance 1, 2 and 3 are above the pivot point. Support levels 1, 2 and 3 are below the pivot point. 
Just to mention, resistance and support levels can be an upward or downward sloping line or a curve in case of Bollinger Bands. So, if the price goes down to support level 1, it is more likely to bounce back a little. However, if it breaks through support level 1, it will tend to continue going down to support level 2. Exactly the same principles are in play below support level 2 and support level 3. But if the price goes up to resistance level 1, again it's more likely to bounce back down. But if it breaches resistance level 1, it will tend to continue going up to resistance level 2 and so on. Of course, technical analysis using pivot points, resistance and support lines are not an exact science. This is why we advise our clients to take into account fundamental and geopolitical analysis, which we include in our market opportunity, and consider when identifying potential price movements. Lastly, I would just like to remind you that trading on CFDs, as with any other instrument, involves risk. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something to help you achieve greater trading success. Please join us again at 4Trade soon.